Here are three scams you need to worry about right now. And I'm also going to tell you the world's funniest story about being scammed. So let's start with the story and then I'm going to tell you three scams you need to be aware of and how to protect yourself. So a friend of mine had a daughter, her birthday was coming up, and this daughter, I think she's seven or eight, wanted a hamster. She was obsessed with hamsters. And there was some special hamster. Instead of going to the pet store and buying a $15 hamster or whatever hamsters cost these days, my friend searched around for this whatever, I didn't even know there was multiple hamsters, but this magic hamster. She found a special hamster breeder in North Carolina, and I kid you not, paid $125 for a hamster. <laughs> Well, she sent the $125 to this North Carolina breeder through Zelle, and guess what? Never heard from the breeder again. You cannot get back money that way. So that $125 is gone. She had to run to the local pet store and buy a $15, $20 hamster so her daughter had a birthday present. Don't send money if you can't get it back certain ways. Make sure that's why I love using credit cards as I know my credit card is gonna protect me. And if you want to spend $125 on a hamster, send it to me through Zelle, of course. All right, let's talk about those scams. Number one is the fake QR codes on parking meters. Criminals, quite clever, they're going around to parking meters in cities putting a fake QR code that makes you think you need to scan it in order to pay your parking. Of course, when you scan it, you go to something that looks like parking, but when you enter your information, you're getting ripped off because you just gave a criminal your credit card info, your personal info, and not really the local city that you're in. So be very, very wary when you are scanning QR codes and always opt for not scanning anything, which is why I use my good old flip phone. No scanning going on here. So that's scam number one. Before we continue, I want to take a moment to have a big thank you to today's sponsor, Delete Me. Delete Me is awesome. I use their service. I highly recommend it. They will remove your personal information from the internet, from search engines, from websites. Like I said, I use it myself and I have all kinds of companies trying to get me to use their stuff and most of them I tell no, but not Delete Me. So. Good news is, because I love Delete Me, they're giving you 20% off. Go to joindeleteme.com slash Hanson and use coupon code Hanson. So go to joindeleteme.com slash Hanson, use your coupon code. Now let's get back to more scams you need to be aware of. All right, let's move right now to scam number two that you need to be aware of. That is virtual kidnappings. Virtual kidnappings are unfortunately on the rise and that is when you get a call, you think someone has your family member, you can hear them begging for help or they say, hey, give these guys a thousand dollars, you need to wire it now or you need to send it, you know, untraceable gift cards or whatever it is they're requesting. So these happen all the time. Of course, with artificial intelligence, it's even easier to spoof somebody's voice and to have them call you and say, hey, I just got kidnapped and, you know, I need help. So please wire all this money here. Or please send via PayPal or however they request it here. So be very careful if somebody calls you in distress. Clearly, try and call them back on their own number. Try and social media ways to reach them. Call a loved one who has contact and say, hey, can you text them to see if they're okay? Do not immediately have a knee-jerk reaction and send the money. You want to investigate it first. All right, that was number two. Number three scam that you need to worry about is YouTube comments. Fake YouTube comments, they're on the rise like crazy. Major, major problem in 2023. So on my own YouTube account, there's many people who look like they've got my, you know, it's me. They've got my picture, they got my name and everything. And what these fake people do is they will respond to somebody's comment, make it look like I am responding to a subscriber's comment and say, hey, let's go on WhatsApp. So let's text me on WhatsApp. Guys, they take you off of that onto WhatsApp because they're trying to get money out of you. They're trying to get personal information. They're trying to scam you. Guess what? I have never, ever sent a text message in my life. If I respond to you, because I obviously respond to subscribers, I try and respond to questions and everything, but if I respond to you and say, hey, you know, let's go to WhatsApp, text me there, it ain't gonna happen, it ain't me. So be careful when it doesn't add up, be careful of these fake YouTube people out there that look like the real channel. And of course, don't ever give them personal information, don't ever give them money when they take you to another platform. Obviously, if you wanna give them money via YouTube, already the platform you're on, by all means, give me lots of money, you're not gonna hear me complain, but don't give me any money through WhatsApp or something shady, because I'm not gonna be there. So please be aware of these three scams. You got to think much more often these days because it's out of control. And if there's any way I can help you, please let me know in the comments and real me will try to reply to you.